What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, a few friends and I did the Three Corner Rock PCT 50K, which was a relatively local ultra trail race near us in Seattle, about a three and a half hour drive away. I am a professional triathlete, so I do a fair amount of training, but I did fewer than two hours of specific training for this race, and it would be the longest run I had ever done by about double. So stay tuned to see how it went. It is hard. What up? What up? Let's get it. Woo. I'm gonna make all this vlog footage unusable. Shut the up. Shut the up. <laughs> Can't use any of this damn footage. It is, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Oh. Carbon up, eh? We, uh, we just picked up Allie. Me, Randy, and Allie are on our way to Vancouver, Washington to go stay at Evan and Cassie's house. Evan is also doing the 50K, so we got a little squad here. I'm carving up. Started the day with three Eggo waffles and a banana, you know, a little bit of peanut butter and brown sugar and cinnamon. 60 grams of carbs in my bottle. Two donuts, which was another 67 grams of carbs. Two ciabatta buns and four eggs. And then I have four of these Uncle Ben's rice packets. An eight pack of He's Gatorade. He's still going. He's still going. <laughs> <It's absurd. laughs> um, and five donuts. Five donuts? Five donuts. And all together, that'll give me about a thousand grams of carbs. Uh, just today, so. And you, you think your stomach will feel good with all that? I don't know, we'll find out. Anyway, we got on the road to Vancouver and had to stop at REI for some shenanigans in the parking lot uh, before actually going into REI because Randy forgot his trail pack somewhere on the Olympic Peninsula. He didn't even end up buying one, he just borrowed one from Alley. But then back on I-5 South, side of the highway for a little pee stop. And then once we got there, we hit Chipotle, uh, which I ate in about seven seconds. Yeah. Um, so. All right, made it to Evans. This is donut number six. How many grams of carbs are you hitting today? We're gonna try to get to 800. I'm gonna be close. It's pretty you're, good. You're over a thousand. You're, you're four digits right now. Last donut. I'm tanking a little bit. I can't lie. Stomach's getting full. I shouldn't have had all that fiber and protein at Chipotle. I have one more Gatorade, one more packet of rice. A lot less gear than prepping for a triathlon. Got some caffeine, 100 milligrams an hour on the hour, probably. Assuming it does take five hours. If it takes six, I'm f***ed. If it takes six, you're going down. These will be waiting for me halfway. Okay, it's 9.20 p.m. 4.15 a.m. alarm. Before we get to the race, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Ketone IQ. For those who don't know, ketones are an alternative energy source that are naturally made by the liver when you're in a low carb state. But Ketone IQ is an exogenous ketone, meaning when you drink it, you get all the benefits of ketones while still being able to utilize carbohydrates. I use Ketone IQ for two main reasons. And the first is that it's an extremely potent recovery aid. Studies show that pairing a ketone drink with your post-exercise carbohydrate and protein drink will increase post-exercise muscle glycogen synthesis by 50%. So that greatly speeds up the recovery process following a hard session, meaning it takes even less time before you can go hard again. The second reason is the cognitive benefit. I often on really long sessions will get this sort of brain fog that's usually a result of low glucose and the brain having less access to glucose. And one of the main benefits of ketones is how easily absorbed they are by the brain. So I find that having some ketones mid ride and a four or five hour ride or a really long run helps combat that brain fog and allows me to stay focused all the way throughout the session. Some of the best athletes in the world world use ketone iq for these reasons and you can get some for yourself using my discount code and again thank you to ketone iq for supporting me while i continue to chase this dream so up the next morning well before the crack of dawn breakfast consisted of two shots of ketones the thing of rice i didn't get to last night two microwavable flapjacks and a bottle with 100 grams of carbs so that was like 300 more grams of carbs and can't forget the double shot of spro hey yo shout out eric and paula thanks for the spro we got a lot of carbs on tap this morning but equally important Well, not equally, but still very, very important. So we loaded up the car and headed about 40 minutes east to North Bonville, Washington, which was the race finish, uh, lubed up our nipples and toes and everything that needed to be lubed and took a shuttle to the race start because it was a point to point and basically got our numbers and hung out until it was time to go. Oh, that's pants. my favorite number. Can we switch? Three pants. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Ari. All right. Just did a little warm up. About to do this 50k. Signed up yeah, for it on a whim. A warm up, but Ari thought he was filming. He was not. So. Like an old head. Anyway, <laughs> signed up for this 50k. 
on a whim. And then my friends, Ali, Randy, and Evan signed up. So I couldn't bail, but uh, here we are. Shout out Reed Burrows and Merrill Test Lab for the shoes. I got trail shoes now and a trail pack. Well prepared equipment wise, not training wise. We'll see. Updates to come. One, two, three, four, three. Oh. It's marked about, it can be marked about every like half mile. Basically though, like, it's one trail. So, all right, go. All right. <laughs> Is this a progress right now? Me and Allie, we're in second and third place. Guy up front motored at the start. So, yeah, we're chilling. Just trying to get to like hour three. Not dead. Okay, going down a big descent. Coming up on 10 miles, I think we're on pace for about four and a half hours. It's really good. So maybe I'll die. But I caught up to the leader and then Decided it was too early to take the lead. I don't know what I'm doing. Let him pace the descent. And then, as if to say, no, 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 it's not that easy. I sharded my pants and uh, really had to go take a dump. There was no good place on the descent. And then just eventually had to take an emergency pit stop. So probably lost 30 seconds there. So I got to catch back up, but whatever, this is, oh, <laughs> I feel like this is going well, although it's so early, not even halfway, not even a third yet. All right, I'm in the lead, just under two and a half hours in, it's beautiful up here. I'm on the second big climb. I felt great, but man, it is hard. Just trying to stay focused to the top of the climb. I am, what are we talking? 250 grams of carbs in. So right on 100 grams an hour pace. All right, gotta stop vlogging, stay focused. Oh, camera's so foggy. Gorgeous though. Oh, I got about 10 miles to go. I am feeling okay. Metabolically great, actually. Muscularly quite sore. Almost fell. And my, uh, my calf cramped really bad, like as I saved it. But just trying to be careful. Get to the finish line. Got to take a walk break for, for that view. Whew. Okay, W for me. W for my star trail athlete, Ali O. I definitely do not watch her YouTube channel. It fucking sucks. Um, anyway, it's rude and aggressive. Shut up. Shut the goddamn up. It's called reverse marketing. Anyway, I won. I already said that. 429.57, which means my boy Josh owes me a hundred bucks. My phone went on like emergency mode or something it was like a while to go, so I couldn't take it out couldn't vlog. Um, there was some really pretty stuff and some insanely technical sections and I tanked, uh, but whatever, held on, ran to the finish. Only a little bit of walking. I'm in pain now, but great stimulus for Ironman training. Shout out Hydra Gun Adam, the most portable little massage gun on the market. Link in the description. So good, three heads, three speeds. Lightweight, every, every sleek design. It's like aerospace grade aluminum incredible vibration therapy multiple uses it's great and so portable so portable Oh, 
hard. That was really hard. Uh, all respect to trail runners. My leg seized up a couple times. Thought about death a couple times. Yeah. Hallucinations came around mile 25, you know. Reasonable. Yeah. It's par for the course. Beautiful trail out there. Great views of Mount Hood. Just another great day to be alive. Yeah. Speaking of par for the course, how about a round of disc golf, eh? For sure, for sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. sentences. Happy that I won. Didn't fall, which was very nice. Great triathlon training stimulus to avoid cramps running off the bike. Nice. For the people. Oh. Evan! Yeah, yeah dog! Holy crap, that's hard thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, sit down. Woo! Was you run by like an hour and a half? No, only a couple <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Secret sauce recovery starts now. Mm. Sure. Do you want me to interview you? No, just say something funny. Oh my god, that was so easy. So easy. If I just would have closed the last six miles in like 450 pace, I would have probably only lost Ari by 20 minutes still. But, you know, <laughs> I would have made the podium though. <laughs> And just like that, we were on our way home, got some food on the way, but successful first ultra trail race outing uh, back to triathlon for a while now. Hope you guys enjoyed the content and uh, see you soon.